it's gonna be a fun one. We have two guitars which are at the same time similar and completely different. Uh, on my right, uh, he, we have a Sur Classic T, um, so the rendition of a Telecaster made by John Sur in 2004. And in my left, on my left side, we have T Classic made by Tom Anderson in 2014. So let's see how to, they compare in terms of specifications. Starting with Tom Anderson, uh, we have a Swampash body, we have a maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard, so cla uh, classic combination. Um, from the top, we have uh, locking tuners, so these are non-vintage, th these are locking tuners. Uh, we have a fake, uh, fake uh, bone nut. We have stainless steel frets, um, 12 inch radius, so quite flat, quite modern. Um, then we have a one ply uh, pick guard, quite thick one, matte black. Um, we have a combo of two Tom Anderson uh, single coils, the single coil pickups. And we have a modern, uh, modern bridge, which is six separate saddles. The interesting thing about this one, it, it has a shorter scale than a Telecaster. So instead of using Fender scale, we have a 24, uh, 0.75 inch, so uh, the scale of a uh, gypsum style uh, guitars. And the interesting uh, thing about this one is the, the neck joint and the heel, which is uh, the joint is made using only two screws. That's because it features a trapezoid connection between the body and the neck, which allows for very little movement, if any. Um, that's why the the joint could be reduced to two screws only and the heel contour here is very um, very comfortable to play in the higher positions. So that's uh, for the Tom Anderson one. Let's now switch to Sur. Here we have a custom made 2004 uh, order of a classic tee made by John Sur. And again, starting from the nut, we have a vintage non-locking tuners. We have a beautiful Palfero exotic wood neck with amazing grain, satin finish, but it's a very non-standard thing for a, uh, for a Telecaster. Then we have a deep, deep rosewood fretboard, deep, almost black rosewood fretboard. We have a compound radius on, of 10 to 14 inch, and we have the standard scale, 25.5. Uh, we have a one piece swamp ash body. You can see the, the grain. Uh, we have classic neck and classic broadcaster bridge pickup, very telecaster ish. Also, the bridge is, is not using six saddles, it's using three saddles, so the classic combination. Quite difficult to set the radius with this one, but um, since it's a compound radius, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's a bit better anyway. So, the classic bridge. Um, and then we have, of course, the three-way switch and volume uh, and tone just as in Tom Anderson. Um, Four-point uh, locking, um, locking heel. So without that much contouring, as in terms of, as in the case of uh, Tom Anderson, and the classic six uh, six holes for strings. So this one seems uh, a bit more vintage in terms of specs. So. Very classic pickups, classic bridge, uh, non-locking tuners, but at the same time compound radius, uh, Palfero neck, and a one-piece swamp ash body. So it's a maybe a nod towards more vintagey uh, style. But let's see how they really compare in terms of sound. So let's start with some cleans using Tom Anderson. <laughs>
And now let's check the same with Sur. So with the clean sound only comparison, I can say that Sur is a very balanced guitar, a bit darker. It's uh, not as responsive as Tom Anderson. However, Tom Anderson is very focused around mid-range in all positions. So we will have a, a lot of definition here and a lot of nice attack, still with the focus towards the mid-range, mid-range, very fat mid-range. This seem, seems a bit more classic approach um, I think the with the feeling of playing both of them I think this this feels a bit more compressing naturally compressing it's not as you know lightweight as, as jumpy so to say and darker definitely uh, however it doesn't have the natural like the the classic telecaster twang I didn't hear maybe we will now try some more funky chords in the middle position and compare both of them <laughs> After the funky chords uh, or funky lines comparison, I can say that Sur seems a bit more traditional. It has a bit more delicate vibe, a bit more balanced, and I think in applications of a cast telecast, I think in a classic application for a telecaster, it could be a good substitute for a, you know traditional sound. On the other hand, Tom Anderson stands out. It's not like in a twang, but it's not a classical twang. It's more punchy, it's more rocky. Um, overall, I think so far from what I tried, I would say this is a modern definition of a Telecaster, a modern approach towards a Telecaster with more aggressiveness, biteness and mid-range. And this one ten tends to be a bit more um, traditional, traditionally uh, focused. So, so far, they are rather complementary to each other rather than, you know, this one is better than the other. So now let's try, try some overdrive sounds and see how they behave. <laughs>
So overall, I think they are very different guitars. Um, Sur one is uh, more has more classic vibe, classic spirit. It tends to behave better in a cleaner sounds. Um, I think it's getting lost in a, in a bigger amount of game, and there is definitely a darker uh, s side of uh, spectrum here. On the other hand, uh, Anderson maybe on cleans is not very rounded. It has tendency to go towards mid range in all positions. Both of them have some kind of quack in the middle position, but as soon as we uh, add more and more gain, I think uh, the Tom Anderson behaves better. It just takes this drive, it focuses on the mid range, and it pushes forward. So I would say overall this one might be a bit in more interesting for cleaner uh, sounds, a rounder, classic Telecaster clean sounds and uh, Tom Anderson is for someone who is looking for a tele aesthetics with a very rocky attitude, uh, a lot of mid-range and uh, punch. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. Uh, if, you if you did, please subscribe and watch our next videos.